today we're going to learn how to do the modified Sane Knop. It's from Polyfiber, the method we're going to show you, but it's also valid on a lot of the other systems. Now, is there any special equipment that we're going to need in order to do this? You're going to need a curved tip needle, and you either need flat or round cord. I'm going to use flat today. I prefer flat. And then also a wing or anything else that you are going to be lacing, such as a control surface. Um, also, you're going to need this, um, this tape right here, which is called reinforcing tape. It's a polyester woven tape with a sticky on the back. That's why it's held down. Okay, so I'm going to try to shoot this, and you're indicating how you best shoot it from over your shoulder so that we can follow if you If you shoot it from over my shoulder, then you will be able to actually see from my perspective how you tie the knot. Okay, now you're using a, a couple of rhymes here in order to make this work. Just explain that to me a little bit. I always tell stories because I know it seems kind of kiddish, but it also helps people understand. I've got a lot of comments and compliments on the way that I teach. Okay. So just give me a couple of these rhymes that we're going to use and then maybe we can use them as we're going through it. Well, I'm going to be talking about a palm tree and an island and a rabbit on a rabbit trail. Okay. So you start and I'll try to get into where I need to be. All right. Well, first we're going to start with the starter knot, okay? So what you got to do is you got to go down. If you're right-handed, you start on the right side. I'm going to teach you the right-handed method. You start on the right side. You have to look on the bottom, go straight down, and then you got to come back up the same side. Okay. Now I always stick my needle down just so that way I don't poke it anything or it doesn't get in the way. Okay. You want to leave probably about a six-inch tail. Okay, and then you got to do a square knot. All what a square knot is is right over left under and through, left over right, under and through. Okay, and you can tell it's a square knot because there'll be two on the top and two on the bottom. You see how it goes like that? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that tight. Now all it is is a square knot right now. We're gonna lock it with a half hitch on each side. All what a half hitch is is you go straight underneath, you make this loop right here, and you go back through it, okay? I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna do one on the other side. Go straight underneath, and then you loop back through it, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna stick my needle down one more time. Now, if you look, there's gonna be different cords, ones that'll move and everything. You wanna grab the two that don't move. You wanna pull them as tight as you can. Then we're gonna take the little cord, the little tail, pull it off, tighten it up. Okay, we're gonna pull these two, the two that don't move again, all the way tight. And then we're gonna put our finger on the knot and pull the one that's connected to the needle. And that will give you your half hitches on each side of your square knot. And then, real quick, I'm sorry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut off about two inches. Okay. And we're going to stick that little tail back inside the wing. Like I said, this is the hidden knot, so we're actually going to go inside, which is why we use the curved tip needle. You're going to go back into the same hole you just tucked that little knot in and go straight up to the next one. Okay, we just finished our starter knot. I'm gonna pull it all the way through. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna push it and tuck it inside the wing. That gets rid of the knot so there's no bump there. Yeah, that just gets rid of it, it hides it. Okay, we're gonna go back through the same hole we just were on. Go straight down through the bottom. This right here makes our island that I was talking about. Okay, the cord that doesn't move, you want it away from you. And you're going to come straight back up through the other side. And you're going to up, coming up through the island now. Up through the island. Now this is our palm tree. The palm tree always is on the island, okay? So the one that doesn't move, like I said, stays away from you. Now on the island we have a rabbit trail. Four fingers and a thumb down. You want the triangle to point toward you, okay? This is your rabbit. Your needle's your rabbit. This is log one two and three. When the rabbit's running along, he sees the alligator, he gets scared, jumps under the first log and over the second. He sees a fox and he makes a U-turn, goes back under the second log and over the third. Okay, and if you want to make sure that you have the right knot, then you're going to go ahead and just pull on your, your palm tree, which I never let go of, and if you see the X right there, that just shows that you have the right knot. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that through now. You never let go of your palm tree. You're going to hold on to your palm tree, and then since we're going right-handed, we're going to pull it over to the right side, just like that, and that just pulls the knot tight. And as I'm pulling as hard as I can to the, on the palm tree, I'm going to pull the other cord that's attached to the needle, 
and that's just going to get rid of that. And when it gets too small to hold, I'll just put my finger on it and pull it through. Okay, I'm going to do one more of those, and then I'll show you guys the finishing knot. So you just go straight back under, pull it all the way through, because we finished this knot, we're going on to the next one. Go straight down through this one, through the bottom. Once again, the one that doesn't move goes away from you. And then straight back through. Now your island or your palm tree is on your island. Okay, and on your island you have your rabbit trail, four fingers and a thumb. The rabbit jumps under the first log, over the second, makes a U-turn, back under the second and over the third. There's my X. So I go ahead and pull it through. Take your palm tree, which I had never let go of, pull it over to the right. And as soon as I get it as tight as I can, then I'll go ahead and pull the one that's attached to the needle. And then when it gets too small to hold, just pull it, put your finger on it, pull it right through. Now I'm going to show you guys the finishing knot. Same exact thing as all the other modified seine knots that we've been doing. You just go right underneath. Okay. Go from the top to the bottom. Straight back up the other side. Okay, your island or your palm tree's on your island. One that doesn't move is away from you. And then we are going to four fingers, thumb. He jumps under, over, under, and back around. There's your X. Okay, now this is like I said is the finishing knot. All what it is is a modifying seine knot with a half hitch on the end, which is like we did for our starter knot. Now I'm not gonna pull it real tight. I still have my palm tree in this hand. With my left hand, I'm gonna go under, and then if we just place this cord on this side of the needle, we're going right back through it. We'll stick our needle aside. We're not gonna pull our half hitch tight, because otherwise we won't be able to see how loose that is. We won't be able to get our knot tight. So we're gonna pull our palm tree as tight as we can over toward the right. Then we're gonna grab this one and pull it straight through. When it gets too small, just put your finger on the knot. Now it's just a modified seine knot, and all what you do is have the half hitch, so we're just going to pull the half hitch straight through. Now I always pull toward out at a 90 degree, so that way if you pull up or down, you can rip the fabric, so just pull straight out. And then to finish off the knot, I'm just going to go ahead and go under about two of them, right there. And then we are going to just cut, so that way the end of that side is also inside. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. Now, are you part of Poly, uh, Poly Farmer or are you uh, subcontracted to do this type of work? No, I actually work for Poly Fiber. I work um, in Riverside, California at the Poly Fiber Company. Do you have a website if somebody wanted to get into more information on your products? I believe it's polyfiber.com, right, Mr. G? Polyfiber.com. Thank you very much for your time. No problem.